Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, looks like the game auto saves when you go down a floor. The more you know, I had no idea. Uh, so we were playing last floor, and uh, the game had a bit of a stroke when I took some damage on a mini boss fight. Um, I shouldn't say that because people take strokes, and it bothers people negatively to think about it. Um, the game froze up, is what I mean to say, in a less you know, not offensive, but like, because it isn't offensive. It, it's more of a, just, you know, it could bother some people. And if I don't need to be bothering those people, why would I say it, right? I'm not going out of my way to be antagonistic to these people, so. Ugh. Uh, what did we, oh, we do have singularity still. So... Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I don't know really what caused that. I think I got hit as I killed the boss. And those two things happening like simultaneously just like caused the game to like freeze up. Oh, well, we have another mini boss. <laughs> Let's see if it happens again. This might just be a doomed run, everybody. If that happens, I'll just have to exit to the breach after I close up and reopen it this time. I actually thought the run was just fucking lost, if I'm being honest. There we go. Orbit the moon, my saw blades. So I really want to send an email to one of my favorite bands and be like, Hey, do you all have a copyright on your music that would prevent me from listening to it? <gasps> really? I own a life. Oh, that's awesome. Can I reload when it's up? No, all right. It's so. I actually own a replica of this gun. It's the uh, Dead Space gun. I I actually own a replica. It's it's like one quarter scale or some shit. It's super tiny. Might even be one fifth if I'm being honest. Um, that I got with the Dead Space Two Collector's Edition. Uh, that I bought. Uh, I'll take the curse. It's a really good gun, so I think it's worth it. Though, we already have good guns. Um, it, it's laser, like, the light it shoots out. Because the game, the gun in, like, Dead Space has, like, a red laser that, or a green laser that it shows you where you're about to shoot. And that's, like, it's, it's aesthetic. And it, uh... Well, it's really good. I really liked Dead Space 1. That was a game that I always considered 100%ing, uh, actually. I was very close to it. I'd done everything except a blaster ru only run, like a cutter only run, this weapon. Because there was an achievement to do the entire game using only this weapon. Uh, and then doing the game in the hardest difficulty setting. Um, and I was actually really good at it at the time. And I was like, I could totally do a hard mode cutter only run and just finish the last two major achievements I need just in one uh, I didn't end up doing it um, just because other games kept coming out and I just Dead Space just got pushed further and further back I didn't like Dead Space 2 as much I didn't hate it and I really didn't care for Dead Space 3 oh you almost got me there Oh, that's actually real nice. Health upgrades are my jam. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting the carbine, but getting, like... This wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Alright, let's go take on ye old boss. So we want the pox cannon and our super meat gun. I think. Actually.
I don't want to be under her like this. There we go. All right. That was my bad. I didn't position myself correctly. Got her. We'll take it. Checking to make sure it was a minute. Oh, I got the hell hole. That's awesome. And we got a free health upgrade. We actually have like more health than I've ever had before. The yellow chamber, I don't really understand what it does, but it's like really good. We should look it up. Let's look it up together. I hope I didn't just stop the recording. Nope. All right. Yellow chamber gungeon. Um, upon entering a room, there's a chance that an enemy will become charmed for the duration of the room. After clearing the room, the charmed enemy is still alive, is automatically killed. Grants two heart containers. Holy shit. No wonder we have so many hearts. We just got three off that boss. With the uh, the yellow chamber giving me two and the master, the mastery token increases curse by two shit, uh, and fire rate by fifteen percent. Oh, this actually has another charm though. Oh, it's a reference to the king in yellow. Really? I didn't know that. There, There's actually another synergy with this. I'm almost positive. Huh. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. And the fact that we got three health containers off that boss fight is actually ridiculous. Like, I don't want to... I can't stress that ah, I just killed my charmed enemy because I'm a dumb... That enemy was on my side. There was no reason to kill him. Feels bad, man. Oh, I didn't know that happens. Oh, that's so cool. I guess it makes sense because when, when what happened is when my armor popped, when your armor pops, it fires off a blank. But I... For some reason, I just assumed there's the hell hole. Oh, that's awesome. I just assumed that the blanks would be on skilled, if that makes sense. Um, I didn't think that the blanks for my armor would be affected by my amulets, but that froze them. That's so cool. The more you know. I mean, I wouldn't hate doing this, but if I can get the ability to fly first, I'd rather do that. The gold amulet, uranium amulet, chaos amulet. I don't know what these do. Well, I know that they affect uh, your blanks because I'm pretty sure every amulet affects your blanks. It's kind of their shtick. But, uh, huh. we'll have to see. Alright, solid murder. Let's check out our shop. 
we're actually like really good in terms of our equipment like we have really good weapons and an absolute shit ton of health I think we actually take the boss on right now while I'm here you know Yeah, I, I, I haven't flawless the Mind Flayer yet. I've come close. I have beaten him only being hit once, I think. But I, I don't think I've ever flawless him. This gun's probably not all that great for... Clearing out these bad boys yet. Like, anymore. If I'm being honest. Ah, oh, I thought I walked... I thought I dodged that. Get in the hellhole, you freaking fracker. That actually does like decent boss damage. Getting hit twice on this boy. Ah, oh, he's immune to death when he's doing that. That's annoying as shit. He should just instantly die. Yeah. Getting hit twice, though, was really good. I think we're going to start using this for room clear besides Isaac's gun. Or never mind. We have an AK. <laughs> we have an AK. And it's my... Uh, I'm actually under contract uh, with myself that if I have an AK, I'm going to use the AK. At least a little bit. Dude, it reminds me... Just looking at that model. It reminds me so much of Modern Warfare 2. Where the AK... Oh, we actually charmed the wizard there. That's awesome. He doesn't fucking do anything for us. But he doesn't buff them then. I'll take it. The AK in Modern Warfare 2 was like the final... Oh, we're... Synergy, yes! Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the Jam Super Turtle! Oh, it's Super Space Turtle DX. That's actually really good. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, Jesus, I need to... S I talk like... I talk when I'm talking to the children I teach now. And it's, it's... It's a weird part of my life that sort of developed. He's jammed now. He shoots like super bullets. Which is freaking cool. Yeah, that synergy wasn't brought up on the wiki page. I wonder if I can edit that page to edit in. Maybe it was him. I don't know if Junkin had a synergy with that too. Oh, that's my boy. We'll let him kill that boy. Wow, his gun his rounds are explosive and they pierce. Did we hit up both chests? There's one. Yeah, there's two. All right, sweet. Um, we do have enough money to buy one of those amulets, and I think I might. Uh, yeah. If I could, if I was good enough to hit that all, I would probably do it. Oh, it's just damage up. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll take it. Down we go, everybody. Floor three, here we come. Or floor four, sorry. The hollow. This run is going really well. If I end up losing this, it's it's like 100% my fault. Which, I mean, if you lose in Gungeon, it's always your fault. That's not fair. Sometimes it's RNG. Sometimes you just don't get, like, anything needed to make a run work. And I get that. The problem is my boy likes to kill my charmed ally, like, immediately. This boy actually does some damage, though, with his explosive piercing jammed rounds. 
That's awesome. Uh, and we're using the pox cannon and membrane for bosses and the axe. Alright, sweet. I think we should just use the pox cannon, honestly. The I mean, well, the pox cannon and the, uh, the shotgun. Because I find the membrane uh, doesn't poison, but it actually does a lot of damage. I don't know. I don't know which one is a better boss weapon. I'm still learning. I'm still young. I, I wouldn't call myself a noob anymore, though. Now that I've killed almost every pass. I really hope we can make it to the pass this time and actually kill it. One, because it'd be super cool to unlock hell. Two, god damn it, I've, I've fought the fucking pass now like twice and I've lost twice and that's just like, it's an outlier because I've never had that happen. Every other pass that I've made it to, I've cleared and won. So it just kind of pisses me off. All right. I don't like this charmed enemy ally because he fucking spawns enemies that aren't charmed. <laughs> they should fix that. That's bullshit. Oh, we're taking the boss on right now. We have five blanks. Uh, right. Oh, does that, like, last long enough for me to, like, just do it endlessly? Almost. Oh, I almost flawless them. I should have just blanked. Fuck me. That would have been awesome. Damn it. 100% my bad, everybody. I almost just freaking... 100% at that. Oh, that would have been so cool. I'm not gonna lie. I would have been really excited. Where's my turtle? I still have his item. Did he die and he needs to respawn after so many rooms? Like, what happens? Yeah, we should also just always be using this. Because it's basically the black hole gun, but even better. Uh, no, it's not better. It does way more damage. But, the fact that I can spam the black hole gun out multiple times a room pretty quickly is real good. Don't, don't care for it. I'm just like a little confused where my turtle went. Like, does he stop following me if I kill the floor's boss? Like, he's only here till the boss is done and then he'll come back with me on the next floor? I hope he comes back, man. That's a really good synergy. <laughs> he's like really not bad. I'd like to know why the charm dude is coming like towards me instead of shooting the other dude. There we go. All right, we should not lose this run. Can we lose this run? Definitely. Should we lose this gun? Fuck no. This run is ridiculously strong. Fucking pox cannon. Membrane. Meat boy. So this floor, oh, I got hit there? Oh, I'm upset about it. I really wanted to save that armor for the next floor. That's all right, we could always buy more if I wanted, but I think I'll save it for the forge. There might be something ridiculous in there that I desperately want. Just 
Just get back, boys. Alpha bullets. All right. That's a good item. Oh man, I just realized like if you have alpha and omega bullets and the sling, does it just like three shot bosses because it's the first and last bullet you shoot out of your gun? Oh, there he is. Good. You know what? Just go to hell. There we go. God, that's pretty. Alright, so you can still get hit by charmed allies. That's garbage. Well, we did test it and we found out. Oh, wow. Do you get an extra blank each floor for each amulet you have? Oh, I didn't know that. That's actually way... That makes them way stronger than I thought they were. I thought they were just kind of garbage, but if they give you an extra blank per floor, that's actually really strong in my opinion. Because I'm a player bad enough to need those blanks. Wait, what? There we go. I was like, how the frickin' frack did I fall down there? I wish there was some sort of, like, visual indicator for Alpha Bullet dealing more damage. Because I never feels like I'm killing enemies in too much noticeably like less bullets you know what I think that might have been noticeably less I don't know shit man I don't know clip size one size fits all awesome um there we go. i was gonna say we're running out of uh some ammo there on our usual room clear it's all right though we can switch it up See, here's the problem, right? Like, this run is almost, almost for sure gonna get me, uh, I don't know where my turtle went again. I really don't know what happens to him. Um, I don't, I don't, I literally don't remember what I was saying a second ago. Oh, I remember now. So I, my run is like pretty strong right now, but like when I get to the past, I don't have any of this shit. I have three health and two blanks and whatever kit the character is supposed to have for the past. And for some reason, I just find the pilot's one really hard to do. It's, it's honestly just because it's sort of like a shift in genre ever so slightly for the game. Wow, my blank just murdered that room. We are running out of blanks, though. And I, I don't like that. Thank you. Like, what the shit game? Okay. 
This is actually like going really well. Even without like a ridiculous room clear like super item. Oh, that's spoopy. Whew. That was a boy. He could have really hurt me. Oh, the gun knight armor. That's cool. Let's get our bullet. Oh, return so often. Oh, thank you. Is this the boss? Nah. Damn. I got hopeful. Oh, here's the boss. Already, membrane and puck cannon. Let's do it. Let's watch me fucking throw this all the way on the dragon. No, oh, what a pimp. Ancient and venerable, the high dragon. I gotta hear you. Oh, that sucks. I prevented myself from DPSing the boss because I wasn't close enough to him when I threw it. My bad. Hopefully, if we have to throw it again, we'll be able to do that right. We blinked one out of existence. in bed you should be forced into the next stage any second there we go all right what are we gonna use for the heart. I think we'll use the meat boy. Right, that wasn't as amazing as it could have been. Man, I just don't have a weapon that's dealing the damage to that hurt. That's fine, though. I don't think it's like the worst thing ever. Oh my god, he is literally no health. Probably using that cursed shotgun would have done more damage. Saw blade to the heart. Not only did I kill the boss, but I killed this boss getting hit 
what, once? I think I got hit, like, maybe twice. We do have the bullet that kills the past. All right, everybody. Let's make your mama proud time. Third time's the charm, maybe? No, I always do that. Well, I don't normally do it twice. All right. My commentary is going to like come to a crawl right now as I desperately try to do this. So, uh, please, bear with me. Same the gun right at the heart. To the past. Let's go. That's almost all of it, Z. Just grab what's left and let's boogie. Hold your space horses. You can't rush something like this. Besides, H-Mons don't have eyes everywhere. There's no way we'll run into anybody here. Just gotta get the clamp lined up. And hey, look. Unregistered craft. Sword. This is HM Absolution. Your craft has been scanned and is known to be carrying property of the Imperial Hegemonium Man. You'll be towed by a standard tractor. And power off all systems but life support. Any acts of aggression will be met with a supreme prejudice. Comply within 20 seconds. You gotta make the jump and get out of here! There's no time for me to duck! But you don't have a jump drive! Just go! I can't go! Computer. Fucking get me killed. Dodged into it really bad. What? I dodged! Don't you even fucking test me, game. Alright. I wish it would just use that move all the time. And this. How did I lose to this twice? This is so easy! Like, for real though, how did I lose to it twice? Fuck me! Damn it! It just makes me so mad it passed me that I died to that twice. Fuck me. They're all done, everybody. The Gilded Hydra unlocked. I can't believe you did that. Where did you learn those moves? Another time. Let's get out of here. Don't have to tell me twice. He did it. He went back in the past and saved his friend. I love that though. Imagine how weird that would be. Your friend, your your co-pilot, your wingman. He has to abandon you. There's no chance. You're you're done. You're caught. And there's just this sort of pause. Maybe a flicker in your communication screen. And suddenly his eyes look very different. They look older. But strong. And suddenly, instead of running away like you know he should, the fucker takes on a goddamn fucking armada-sized battleship with his fucking little piloting one-man interceptor kind of bullshit. And fucking, you see him pulling ridiculous shit and winning. And then he just sort of goes back to normal, maybe? I don't know. 
I guess technically when you go back and kill the past, you fully replace yourself. But we have now officially killed the past of all four characters, everybody. I want to thank you all for being a part of this journey. Uh, we should have, as far as I understand... Um, as far as I understand, we should have unlocked the new, like, end level after the dragon. Am I going to dive right into that level? Probably the next time I get down there. Am I going to be good at it? Fucking no. Really? Not, not really, if I have a choice in the matter. But, uh... Japanese localization by Keiko Fukuichi. I want a name, Keiko. I like it. Fukuichi san. Fuchan. Oh, dude, my hand. Killing the past, like, always makes my hand shake. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it feels so good. Alright everybody, we'll be back next time where we try to make it to hell. Bye!